This is the first in a series of videos on synchronising your iPad to iTunes. And this video is just going to look in, in general at, at setting up your iTunes and understanding where all your libraries are in iTunes, where your media is coming from, uh, and how to set up all the toolbars in iTunes so that you get the, the most efficient and easy to use interface. Now I'm using iTunes version 11. So to start with, you need to have iTunes open. And you may not have a lot of media at this stage, but what you need to understand if you're synchronizing with, with the iPad is that the media that is being put onto your iPad from your computer is coming from iTunes. So you need to have uh, saved some TV shows, some movies, some music, books, etc., and saved them into iTunes. Now there is a other video that I have and you can look in the description on how to use iTunes and manage all your preferences if you're a little bit stuck. Uh, for the first thing that, that I do in iTunes 11 is show the sidebar because the new version has your libraries up in the top corner. So if you're wanting to look at your music collection you select it from there which, which this is, this is in the music collection. If I wanted to look at my TV shows then I have to switch from up here. And uh, it's just too awkward for me. I don't like this at all. Uh, the connection to my iPad is shown over here. So my iPad is currently connected wirelessly to my iTunes library on the computer I'm using. Um, if it wasn't wireless, then you would have to connect your charging cable, the one that comes with your iPad, one end into the iPad, the other into the USB port of your computer, Windows or Mac. Uh, so in first thing I would do is go up to the view menu and show the sidebar and immediately comes back on the left it's much easier to find things so if I wanted to go to the iTunes store and purchase some media that will take me to the store where I can search for uh, music movies TV shows books etc and whatever I purchase and download will be stored directly into my iTunes library on this computer and I can then synchronize it back to my iPad back and forward. Uh, you can also see all your libraries. So my music library with all the, the songs that I have and uh, the books, so the ebooks, books that I have, etc. All the apps that I've actually bought from the iTunes store and that are either on my iPad or I've deleted from the iPad, I still retain them. I can still download them again and synchronize them again, even if they're not on the iPad itself. Uh, and there's other things that, that are to do with iTunes itself. So you can create all your playlists. So if I wanted to, to play um, classical music, I could just play that playlist instead of playing every single song. Here's the uh, the ones you mainly need to know about with synchronizing here is your connection to the uh, iPad so if I click on that I can see my iPad and what is on my iPad so over at the top here is uh, one of the tabs you know, the apps and I'm going to go through all of these so it'll, there'll be separate videos on each of these tabs so another one look for one on how to synchronize apps and, and how to synchronize music because there's so many so that's the apps tab and it shows me all of the different apps and how to organize them and, and, and that will be on its own video. So you connect your iPad and then you can see all the information about your iPad. And this video is just going to look today at the summary tab. Um, before that, there are some things that you need to look at in your iTunes library to get it set up to so make sure that it's working at its optimum best. So apart from showing the sidebar, there's also a status bar. So if I tap, click that, show the status bar, it's not showing anything yet because I'm not on a library. But if we went back to the TV shows, the status bar is down here. It's telling me it's got 1,602 TV shows that are taking up 1.16 gigabytes of space. That would take me 49 and a half days to watch if I was to watch them all one by one. Uh, and it'll do that for everyone. So how many podcasts I have and how much space they're taking up on the um, in the storage location where, where iPad where um, iTunes is is um, sending the media. Now, how do you find out where your media is going? Because you really need to know that 
up in the iTunes preferences, under advanced, so there's an advanced tab, this is where your media is being saved. Now mine is going on to a separate hard drive. So this iTunes media is a separate hard drive. And inside that hard drive, there's a folder called iTunes. And inside that is, an, is the actual media. I can change where I want the location of my media to be stored. And your default location is the C drive of your computer. You can change it by clicking a change and then finding that's going to iTunes media. I can save it somewhere else. So if I didn't want my iTunes media to be stored on this separate hard drive, which is down here somewhere, there's a separate hard drive for it. I just wanted it to go back on the C drive and I wanted it to be stored under the music library. I could just click music and all the songs, all the media, everything would then be pointed to that music location. Uh, let's just close that, cancel that. Uh, when you do change where your media is located, then it is wise to, to, to have these checked because every time you add a song, add a TV show, add a book, any type of media, it's going to put it into the correct library for you. Uh, if you don't have that, uh, then you have to do it yourself. And then you, you are you're naming conventions and all of those statistics and metadata is inconsistent. So it's easier to let iTunes manage everything, so keep those, uh, those checked. If you were to change the location, then this, because these are checked, it would change all of the location of the existing media. Now, all the other tabs in the preferences, there is a, another video that I've done that explains all that. So I've looked in the description for the link to that. Let's just do OK. Uh, a couple of other things that you need to be aware of. So home sharing needs to be turned on in which case you can share any media from the different iTunes libraries with any other user in the uh, house within the same network. And you can see there I've got a couple of shared libraries here that I can use, particularly if you have an Apple TV. Turn that on and you're using your Apple account name to connect with that. The other thing that you need to look at is authorizing your computer in case you haven't done that. So if you're purchasing media from the iTunes store, like a TV series, uh, and you wanted to be able to play that on someone else's computer in the house who wasn't, uh, who had a different iTunes account to you, you have to authorize that computer to play that, that media. And you can have five devices, five Apple devices, mobile devices or computers that have, can have the same authorization. So where does your media come from? Uh, in iTunes, I have a, a music library, and that music may have come from uh, songs that I've purchased from the iTunes store, or I've purchased on the um, iTunes store from the iPad and synchronized back to my computer, or I've ripped a, a CD, music CD, and that's stored in the music library. So if you're looking for a song, so here's a song here, it's just a, a, um, a trailer for a motion picture called Hopper. So it gives you the name and the album and the artist. Now where is that song stored? Now if I right click and go to get info, uh, it will show me the location of that song. So it should be in the iTunes library, the iTunes media hard drive, the iTunes folder, then the media, and then inside that you've got the music folder, the name of the artist, and the name of the song. Uh, so that's where it's found. So if you need to go and find your media, we can go and look for it. So let's cancel that. Go into the finder and look for iTunes media and iTunes folder. Then you have all your library information. So all, everything you do in your library, all your your, your favourites, the playlists, the mixes, anything you've done is stored in your library file. iTunes Media. Now inside the media are all the different libraries. So you can see over here I've got the iTunes. This section here is the iTunes libraries. So the music library, this is its location. There's the music folder and inside that are all the different folders 
which hold the songs and the albums, and we're looking for Steve Jablonski, and it's actually by first name, not surname, so it should be under Steve. So Steve, let's close it up. Steve Jablonski. If I open up that one, I should be able to find. These are all the folders of music that I have from this person. Battleship, Hopper. There's the actual song. So you can track it down. Now, if you wanted to back up your iTunes library, this is on one hard drive. What I might want to do, just go back up the top is back up this whole folder. So I could back up the whole iTunes media folder onto another hard drive. And to find out how much hard drive space I'd need, right click it, get info, and it's calculating the size at the moment of how much media there is. There's 1.65 terabytes of media in my iTunes library. So I'm gonna to have to have at least a two, probably three terabyte drive to let this grow to enable it to grow. So there's a lot of media there, but that's how you find your media. So if you were to uh, take a video yourself with your camera on your iPad and you wanted to put it into your iTunes library, you would have it stored on. So if I go back to the finder, look in the movies, and let's close up some of these. So there's some TV shows here, Sea Change. Uh, so if I wanted that TV show, which is sitting on my hard drive now in the drive called Movies. It's not in the iTunes library. To get it into the library, I have to actually add it into uh, iTunes. So I can either go back to iTunes. Let's just split them up a bit so you can see both. Over there. So I've got Sea Changes Series 1. I just bought the box set, so I've been ripping them all. Uh, I haven't got any of C season three in there at all. So to get that uh, on here, there's the uh, original uh, DVD and I've ripped it into all these different episodes. So season three has not been added to iTunes. So to add one, uh, I can either drag it straight in. You can see the, the green cross there. It's going to add that episode into my iTunes library. When you drag it in, make sure you check. Here it is here, Best Laid Plans. It's in the TV shows. And what I would need to do myself is go into that uh, episode, right click and get the information. Uh, you can see where it's been, been stored by iTunes into the media hard drive, the, the, the folder structure, TV shows. Inside TV shows is one called Sea Change, and inside Sea Change there's a folder called Season 3 episode one with the title so itunes organizes all that for you and okay you to make sure though uh, i'm using a a program called let's put it in here identify on the mac there is there is some for the for the windows platform that puts all this metadata in you drag it into to identify and it puts all this info all this information it gives me the name of the uh, the description and this and the episode and the season number gives me all that and it also turns it into a tv show you always have to make sure whatever you drag into itunes that you check the options and that it is the correct type of media or podcast and it, uh, if you don't at all the default is movie and okay and it puts the artwork in as well the purpose of synchronizing your ipad with itunes is to take media on and off the iPad. So if I've got a, se a series like Sea Change that I've just ripped off the DVD that I purchased, and I want to watch that on the iPad, then I will synchronize that TV section of my iTunes library with the iPad and copy those episodes only across to the iPad. Similarly, if you buy things from the iTunes store on your iPad, then when you connect your iPad to iTunes, you want to copy that media across from the iPad to your main iTunes library. So it's a means of putting information on and off because your iPad has only got a limited space.